And this is a slide you should like to see. You can see where 2012 and 2013 was, the, was the, where we were the deepest. And in 14 we made some progress. And in 15 we made some more. And now we're almost less than half of what we were in 2013. That's great news. And like I said, lots of hard work goes into making that happen. Um, and the future looks good. If we can stay on this path for a few more years, uh, we'll be making some good progress. Uh, there are more hurdles to come, and we all know that. But again, where we were at the end of 2013, and even into 14, to where we are today is uh, remarkably good. A better, better anyway. So that's the financial piece. Let's talk compliance. In 2014, we started out here. Uh, we were new auditors to the district, and we were following some pretty heavy work papers when we came in. Um, in 2014, we had 13 findings. In 2015, we were down to four. This year, we have one, <laughs> which is the operating deficit. Mm -hmm. And I think most notably, there were no federal awards findings on the single audit, the compliance right. audit. Yeah. Again, that's not, that's not light work. No. That's a lot of work. Okay. So under federal compliance, we are issuing an unmodified opinion. No modifications were necessary, uh, just like we are in your financial audit. No modifications are necessary to be in compliance with accepted principles. We tested Title I, which is a, a tough program to test. There are over 70 compliance areas in there that we have to test under the new rules. 70. No findings. Wonderful. 